All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. You probably remember, if you've been around long enough on the channel, uh, that black truck that you just saw in that video is my old black truck. I actually sold it to a family friend about a year, year and a half ago. Uh, the truck itself got a 440 uh, with a cop. I believe it's a 290, somewhere 290 H cam or something. Uh, 501 lift, somewhere in there. Uh, flat top 440 with Icon pistons, stock crank, and... Forty source rods. So the reason for this video is to kind of raise awareness about these 440 source rods. And he actually sent me a message as I'm working on my 400 that has the 400 factory rods from 440 source. So they're the factory length and they're made to be press pin for a stock style piston or an updated piston, whatever you want to do. Um, and they're stock pin bore, just like the 440 source um, stock replacement rods are as well. He sent me a picture and it shows his icon piston with the wrist pin hanging out the side of it and the rod still in place. So he used the press pin feature of the rod and I'm not sure if he did this at home or not or if he had a machinist do it. But the, the rods are advertised as press pin fit. So with this engine, I took it to uh, I basically took all these parts to Ed's machine and he made my 440 source rods uh, full floating. So he added clearance for that. And hopefully he can chime in at some point and tell us what that clearance would be and a little bit about the problem. Hello guys, this is Ed back at the shop and I'm just seeing a little short message uh, about these uh, 440 source rods. Uh, these are Mopar Joes. You can see in the picture we converted these from uh, uh, press fit to home fit for slip fit for uh, full floated. We checked these rods, and out of the whole set, um, about two or three of the rods did not have enough press fit. Well, I'm not saying anything bad about any companies or anything. I just want to encourage people, check your parts. Make sure if you are using a press pin, have it checked. And... Uh, Make sure that uh, if it's converted either to full float, put bushings in there, have a great day. And replace those rods with some scat uh, full floating style rods. So my recommendation would be take the piston, take the pins, <laughs> take the piston, take the pin, take the rod all to a machine shop. Be sure that they have the correct amount of fit unless he can measure that uh, with a dial bore and some calipers of some kind or micrometer. So that covers that. But I wanted to give you all a heads up on this. If you're buying those rods, which they are a good, um, they seem to be a good alternative for a stock rod if you didn't want to have your stock rods reconditioned, um, be careful because they're no longer press pin. So if you try to press them, there's a good chance that that wrist pin comes out and wrecks your engine whenever you think everything's gonna be just fine. The black truck probably had, I would guess, less than 50 passes on it. He had only been out, I think, he had only been out three or four times in the truck. Uh, truck did run, ran 780s, he said, and that was with the Edelbrock 800 CFM carburetor. He was waiting to switch his AED over. Uh, so it should have picked up a little bit of time with that too, just flat top 440. But the defective parts are out there. Um, and I know it's not just 440 source and it's not maybe necessarily a defective part, but a defective clearance deal. So whatever factory in China made those rods, uh, took too much clearance out of them. Anyway, I hope this uh, public service announcement helps somebody out there. Uh, share it with your friends. Check out the channel if you haven't. Uh, this is my 400 build. I'm still working on it now. It's a stock crank. It's got the 440 source rods, KB 240 pistons. Uh, it has been decked. These are Edelbrock E Street heads that have been totally reworked by Ed's machine. And uh, comp hydraulic roller cam, and I'm actually using solid roller lifters with it. So hopefully I'll come along for that journey. Today I am uh, setting my, I'm gonna get my other head on this engine, 
I'm gonna set up my valve train, measure my push rods and try to get those cut. Okay, so I had to make a part two to this video, but I'm putting it in with the rest of it. Anyway, um, I called 440 Source because I'm actually using their rocker arms on this engine and I put my other head on while I was thinking. Um, talked to a super nice guy. I, I explained the issue to him and said, you know, my 400 rods were that way. This other guy's 440 rods. He said they have had some calls and that if you have an issue, uh, they'll gladly take them back, uh, exchange. They now have a tool, uh, a measurement tool on, on the property now that they are going through checking full sets of them. Any of them, any rods that the pin board's wrong on, they set aside and they send those back to the manufacturer. So it's nice that they are taking a precaution on this. Um, if you're having an issue, call them. Like the, the guy was super nice. Um, I, I don't want to run them in the ground by any means. I'm glad that we have, as Mopar people, have a place that's trying to go out of their way to get 440 stuff and uh, kind of keep you know, the hobby going. I appreciate y'all watching and I do have a 512 build coming up with a 440 source kit. So I'm going to go through it entirely. Um, I'll have Ed at Ed's machine check some stuff for me as well, but I can, I can, I have my own micrometers. I can check that stuff out. Uh, really get into the nitty gritty details and we'll get it built here on the channel. So thank y'all for watching. Me and Bird will catch you next time. These are my connecting rods and they came from 440 source. Let me show you that box. There we go. 440 source part number. So this is kind of their stock replacement style rod. It does have cap screws instead of nuts and studs. They've been ran on as machined full float and they float nicely now. So they are checked and within spec. Should be nice for a buildup. Wade. And he also checked the lengths from here to here be sure the links weren't funky or something these are clearly chinese connecting rods but the idea behind this build is it's low buck it's low budget and these are a little bit nicer than a stock rod and don't break the bank so that's also sweet